Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, it is going to be a trying new makeup with the products that I purchased recently from Sephora in their holiday savings event. So uh, if you haven't seen, I have my recommendations video up, I have my wish list video up that does include a giveaway. And then I did also most recently post my haul. So I'm trying out products from Kosas, their concealer that so many people rave about. I have some new sponges from Beauty Blender, the Natasha Denona Glam Face and Eye Palette, which I was really, really excited to try out. Uh, I also have a new shade in the Dior Powder No Powder that I love, and then a lip balm from Huda Beauty. So I'm gonna be trying everything out. First, I'm gonna show you my outfit of the day. I don't usually do outfits of the days in my Get Ready With Me, because you will see I'm in my pajamas in the other one. But I decided to change and like let my hair down so I could actually be like somewhat of a human in this video. So I just have on some gray jeans. I got these from Express. And then this t-shirt says Saint or Ain't Laurent. Uh, I, where did I get this? Skullhouse Designs, maybe, I want to say. I've had it for a few years. Hello. I've had it for a few years now, and I just think that it's a really funny shirt. So I decided to change so we could have like a nice intro in here, but uh, get ready for the first clip that you're going to see. So if you want to see how I got this look and my first thoughts on the products that I picked up in the Sephora sale, let's go ahead and get started. Hello. Welcome. All right, we're looking a little wild and crazy, but that's fine. Uh, so I just have on uh, foundation, I did the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator and then the NARS Soft Matte Concealer to cover any redness, but uh, I thought I would just get that out of the way, plus my brows, I have the Goof Proof in it. But I did get a new concealer from the Sephora sale, so I have the Kosas Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer. I got the shade 3.2. So I'm gonna use this on my under eyes, and then I'm gonna use one of the sponges that came in the Loaded Sunday set from uh, Beauty Blender. I thought that this was just too cute, so I figured I would use a new sponge today also. So the set comes with like a little um, silicone mat here, and then also a cleaner, which I love that. I just cleaned some sponges the other day. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the hot pink one a little damp. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add this to my under eyes here and here. So I did swatch this in my haul video and I thought that it looked pretty good, but it definitely as I put it onto my skin, I can notice that it does lean yellow. That's the feedback that I heard a lot about this concealer was that a lot of the shades tend to run more on the yellow side, which isn't particularly my favorite. Um, you know, especially for concealer, like I don't mind if it's more like peachy or salmon-y to kind of color correct a little bit, but I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. I will say that very easily blended out. And I add some to my lid too, which is normally what I do instead of a eye primer. All right, I think concealer is looking good so far. Like I said, it was easy to blend. I do feel like it does have some brightening properties to it, so. That's a good thing. I haven't used a beauty blender in a really long time, like the actual beauty blender. I bought it, you know, back in the day when it was like such a, a big deal, but there's so many other sponges that I like more. DSMD Shop has some of my favorite ones. That's an indie brand, but you know, we'll give it a try. I thought it was cute. That's really why I bought it. That's really why I bought it. Set the concealer with the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. I'm just gonna use the Real Techniques setting brush. So this one was a like a point perk or like a free bonus offer in my last Sephora haul that I did. And I don't know, I've been trying to get a feel for this one. Uh, you know, I also just recently bought the Anastasia Magic Touch Concealer and a lot of days I was trying the two together, but I would notice that even after I set my under eyes, there was just a ton of creasing happening like before I even started in on my eyeshadow. And I was like, so I'm trying to decide if it's the Anastasia concealer or the Kosas powder. So I finally started just like just started using the Anastasia with Charlotte Tilbury powder because I don't notice that when I use that powder. So I got to figure out which is which. But the Kosas powder is really nice. It's definitely very blurring. It's very brightening. It's very smoothing. Um, so when I tried it out in that first impression, like I had, like I, I had some positive feedback to it, but I'm starting to notice just creasing really fast. But again, could be the Anastasia. I'm going to be doing my review very quickly um, on that Sephora haul because I've been trying everything out. I'm going to wait to powder my face because I am going to use some uh, cream products and I'm going to start with the Makeup by Mario, the contour stick. 
which I always open the wrong side. But I have the light medium shade in this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this on. And I'm going to use the sponge to blend that out. I'm not minding the beauty blender. I feel like DSMD Shop is a little bit softer. Um, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it. All right, so that's kind of what I used for contour. And I'm just going to use the Milk Makeup, uh, also the cream bronzer. This one isn't baked. I'm going to add just a little bit more to the cheeks here. Then for blush, I'm going to use the one from Tower 28. This one is in Magic Hour. So I'm just going to pick some up directly from here and tap that on. As I'm sitting here blending this out, I'm like, there's a blush in the Natasha palette. Why do I always do this to myself? But a lot of times when I go in with cream products, then I set with my powder. I'm going to set with Dior, my in focus. I'm going to set with Dior, and then I often come back and um, just set the cream products with the powder products. If that makes sense. That's just usually, if I do a lot of cream products, that's just typically the routine that I do. Sometimes I'll leave it just as cream. A lot of times, especially I am going out tonight, um, to watch the Monday night football game. So a lot of times I do set with powder because I feel like it helps last a little bit longer. And then, um, so I'm still obviously going to use the blush and the highlight from that. But I am going to use the Dior powder. And I also picked up shade 2N. So I'm going to use this on my face to see if it matches well. Because this is 3N. And this is what I use the most of right now. So you can see the shade difference between the two. So 3N, I've just noticed is getting a little bit dark for me. So that's why I wanted to try the 2N. And I figured I'd get it during the sale just to see if it worked out well for me or not. Um, and so sometimes when I do go ahead and set the whole face, it kind of like the cream products don't completely disappear. But then that's why I come back again with the powder products. So I'm not going to kick myself too hard. I just feel like I'm not quite on top of my game today. But you know, we need a brush. This is what's going. This is my this is my situation. I need to wash all of these brushes and all of these sponges so I keep like not being able to find any of my brushes so that's been a good time but my favorite brush to use with the D the Dior powder is from BK Beauty this is the 105 so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this to set my whole face and then we will start in with the Natasha palette Okay, so here's what my skin is looking like after using 2N. So I feel like it is probably a better shade match for me right now. I kind of like 3N because I like the little bit of color that it gives me, but that was also when I was a little bit more tan. But 2N I think still looks good also. Um, yeah, so that'll be good for the face, especially I you know, can still use 3N for when I am... Um, if I'm doing any sort of self-tanning, which I probably will be doing here in Vegas, but I think 2N still looks good and it's just my favorite powder we all know we all know i really don't have to say anything more than that but i'm going to switch over and use the natasha denona glam face palette so this also has the eye shades in here so inside you have the blush the highlight and then five eyeshadows so i'm going to go ahead and use all of these on my face and eyes uh so let's see i think i'm actually what do i want to do first i think i'm just going to go ahead and jump into the eyes first I really love these neutral shades. Let me go ahead and swatch everything so we can see what we're working with. All right, so here are the swatches from the palette. So we have the eyeshadows, then we have the cream blush and also a highlighter. These swatches look freaking bomb. <laughs> of course, we won't know until we get it on the face. And also, I thought, I don't know why, I thought the highlighter was the cream product, not the blush. Clearly having an off day. You know what? Yesterday was not the best day. Okay, the Packers lost. It was I was just kind of in a bad mood and then I kind of just woke up in a bad mood still. But it's like I was like, you know what? We're gonna cheer ourselves up with filming. And then in typical Samantha fashion, I'm like all over the place. But um that's fine. We're just gonna go in with the cream blush and uh everything is gonna be okay. <laughs> but I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadows first. I am like living for these swatches right now. So I just tried to find some of my brushes and I think I'm first gonna go, gosh, they're just, everything is so beautiful. Okay, so I'm first gonna go in with, oh, I, I, the, the shades are called Inner Corner, Transition, Crease, Outer Corner, Smoke. Okay, 
All right, I see. I see what we're doing here. I mean, maybe I'll do. Maybe I'll do that. I'm first gonna come in with. I kind of want to go in with transition first, though. I'm first gonna come in with transition and take. Ugh, take that off so I can actually use the mirror. Okay. So I'm coming in with a Sigma Diffuse Crease, the E38. And I'm first going to apply that a little bit above the crease. I was initially going to do a first impression on the palette. But I feel like a lot, like have it just be focused on the palette. But I feel like there's already so many videos out. And I'm just, I'm really not like, I'm not one who does a lot of videos on just one product. And since I did get a variety of other products from the Sephora sale, I just figured, like literally I woke up thinking I was gonna do the first impression just on this palette. And then as I was getting ready to film, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna pull an audible. I literally was putting on my foundation and I was like, I think I'm just gonna film a trying new makeup. Like, I like to film these, they're fun for me. It's fun to just like get ready and chill. And like I said, kind of had a rough day yesterday, my poor little brother was like the one getting the onslaught of my text messages during the game. It's just, you know, the whole situation is just super frustrating and, um, I mean, I'm sure you guys don't really care about sports, but like I was super frustrated. I'm very, very into football and just the whole situation has had me very flustered. Um, and I just was really excited to watch Jordan Love because he's, you know, supposedly like our future. And I was like, this bro does not look confident at all. <laughs> Oh no. So it just was kind of rough. And then for our kicker to be missing kicks like that, like once Mason Crosby missed the first kick, I just texted my mom and brother and was like, that's not good. Like if we can't rely on our kicker during this game, then things are not going to be, not going to be looking good. So yeah. So that's just kind of why I'm in like a bummer mood. I know some of you might think it's like super silly, but I love sports. I love football. I love my team. So, you know, just kind of sad. Um, okay, so next up I'm gonna pick up crease and I'm gonna use a fluffy brush with this one This is this is from the uh, Beauty bird collection the large blend so it kind of reminds me like a little bit of the e40 and again, I'm just gonna kind of run that over the first shade and kind of Blend these two colors together a little bit here Put That a little bit on the outer corner also I was really excited to get this palette though. Um, like I said, I was going to do a first impression, but I had like my wish list video that was still going up. Then I, I did do a poll and asked if you'd want to see the Natasha video first or my haul video first. And the haul won out. So that was my last video was the Sephora haul. Um, and now we have the trying new makeup. But yeah, it's I'm I, like I said, I'm not someone who often does videos on just one product. Like that's not really me um, or my style of videos. And... Sometimes it can kind of be a little bit dangerous for me to fall into that because uh, like it, it like it can be good for views, which obviously is good for subscribers, but sometimes it can be a kind of dangerous game to start buying new products and getting them really fast and then, you know, kind of like dropping everything to get the videos up. Like I just, that's just not really how I operate my YouTube channel anymore because I got in trouble, you know, financially in the past with trying to do that and like feel like I had to keep up with everybody and it's just for me it's just easier to just be my like I'm gonna say be myself and I'm not saying anyone else is not being themselves but like these are just the videos that I like to make you know this is what like makes me happy and especially having like a bad day and it's like oh I can't wait to just sit down and be able to play with makeup and just chill and you know have some fun and not feel because kind of with first impression videos just like me being honest here like I kind of feel a lot of pressure to get absolutely everything right and like look at me already using the blush like that's just who I am I mean I've talked about it with like the milk makeup hydro grip um that primer like there's a time where I forgot to use the primer and even that's me in real life it's not just me filming like I'll be like oh I'm so excited because I bought this new product today I can't wait to use it and then I go in with an old product and I'm like oh Sam you were supposed to use the new one like that's just me um so sometimes with those first impressions i feel so much pressure to like get it all right and like make sure i have the most perfect swatches and three looks and i feel like i have to i don't know almost be like and again this is just me and like my thoughts and how i feel when i'm filming those videos but like i feel like i have to give like a whole rundown of everything and all these comparisons and it i'm just like ah like that's just like not what i'm good at and i'd rather make the videos that i feel i'm at least like decent at does that make any sense i have this little liner brush from the 
Beauty Bird collection also. Man, when you have to clean your brushes, it's like no joke. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the smoke shade with a liner brush, and I'm just gonna really lightly kind of tap that close to my lash line. And just like very, like I'm not really doing like a wing wing. I'm just very lightly kind of smudging it along the top there, just like a little bit of a messy liner look. And then like a very tiny wing. All right, and then I am gonna take the outer corner, I'm gonna do the outer corner and the inner corner shade, and I'm just gonna use a flat shader from Sigma Beauty. A lot of times I would use my fingers, but I'm just gonna see how the brush works first because sometimes I can't get things as precise when I use my fingers. So I'm just going to start to tap this, holy buckets, on the outer part of my eye. That's beautiful. I am getting a lot of fallout though from that shade, so note to self, I would maybe do my eyes first or use a damp brush with this shade because um, there is a lot of fallout happening right now, but shade is really quite gorgeous. And then I'm just gonna flip my brush over and I'm gonna do inner corner and I'm gonna do that on the inner part of my lid, just kind of mixing those two together. Woo! And a little on the inner corner too, of course. These shimmers are freaking beautiful. Wow, zers, wow, wow, wow. Like, I'm not even having to try. Like, minus like the fallout happening, which is kind of a bummer, but like, I'm literally not even having to try with these shades. They're just so stunning. Whew, okay, okay. That was fun. Um, so I'm just gonna see if I can kind of like dust that away a little bit a little bit sparkly right now But that was beautiful super easy to work with Wow, there's that makes me excited to use this more and then I'm just gonna take that liner brush again and smoke and just kind of lightly Just tap over just a little Just a little bit here I got a PR package from Urban Decay. They did a collab with Eternals. So I did a PR unboxing on my Instagram if you'd wanna see it. I often do live chats on my Instagram and I do PR hauls over there. Um, and the 24 seven glide on liners, that was the only thing I kept for myself. Um, I am doing a bunch of giveaways. I actually wanted to give away the palette in this video, but I was gonna let the winner choose a light or dark palette and then buy it for them. But I see that it's out of stock in most places. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm hoping maybe when I like go to review the palette, that would be up because I'm trying to put little giveaways here and there. So um, there is two winners in that live chat on my Instagram, which is March Beauty Word. So go check it out. I have a ColourPop. PR package and a Sigma PR package that I'm giving away in that video. And then in my Sephora wishlist video, that one, um, one winner gets to choose anything that they want from Sephora and I will buy that for them. So make sure to check that out, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use this liner in, does it have a name? I'm gonna use this liner in my waterline, okay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna keep the uh, liner brush and I'm gonna do a little bit of smoke on the lower lash line and then I'm gonna add do I want to do transition or crease I kind of want to do I'm just gonna mix transition and crease I'm just gonna do a little bit of those and then add that just a little bit lower kind of smoke it out a little bit I will say there's a lot of kick up in the palette too I don't know if you can see that very well there's quite a bit of kick up in there. I didn't notice any um, fallout issues with the matte shades, um, just with those, just with those shimmer shades. And then I'm gonna spray my face with some all nighter spray, and then do mascara. I'm gonna open a fresh Rare Beauty mascara because mine is pretty much done for. So the Rare Beauty mascara, my favorite mascara right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and add this to the top and bottom lashes. This mascara will not budge. It does not move. So I just did one coat on each of my eyes, but I think that looks great. Something about a fresh mascara just makes it so easy to apply because as I was getting to the end of the other one from Rare Beauty, like I noticed it kind of getting a little bit like chunkier, clumpier, same with the Wildest Beauty, just kind of when I get to the end of the tube. 
so a fresh a mascara always makes me happy okay so going back into the palette and i'm going to come back into the cream blush what i'm going to do first is actually pick it up with my fingers and tap it onto my cheeks and then probably use that sponge to blend it out so i'm just going to go ahead and grab a little bit here and add this to my cheeks Okay, honestly, that's actually really easy to blend. I don't think I actually need to use a sponge. Okay. Ooh, that's a beautiful shade. Ooh. Ooh, I really like that. <gasps> wow. Like, it instantly just kind of, like, perked up my face. Like, mmm. Mmm, that's really pretty. That was super easy to apply. I don't usually do cream products with my fingers, but I've seen some people apply it this way or i've seen them like i said like apply it first and then blend it out with a sponge so i thought that's what i would try but that's super easy to blend oh i love that hmm just gives a really pretty flushed look so i'm just gonna take my sponge just to like make sure everything is nice and smooth but just kind of lightly pat over Ooh, pretty okay like i said i oftentimes will set with a bronzer but what bronzer do I want to use? Let's use Jouer. That'll be fun. Um, yeah, the one that I put pan in. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bronzer to the face also after we've used all the cream products. All right, I think the blush is still looking good. And then coming into the highlighter, I'm gonna use the Dream Glow brush. And then just add this. Ooh! Okay, okay, okay. I know I've been kind of like slowing down on highlighters lately, but sometimes I still just get that feeling when I put one on and I'm just like, hi, like, wow. This palette is gorgeous. I'm so happy. It was $59, you know, I had the 20% off, but still, it's like, you know, hope that I love it, but I can see myself using this so much. It's just what I'm really into right now. This fast, quick, He's like, we got eyeshadows, we got the highlight and the blush, which are both gorgeous and so easy to use. I still can't get over how easy that blush was. Oh. Mm. Digging it. All right, and then I'm just going to finish it off with lips. So I'm going to use the Pat McGrath Contour Lip Liner. And then I did get two new balms, each from Huda Beauty. I got the Silk Balm, the Rose Quartz one, the Illuminating Balm, and then also just the regular Silk Balm in uh, Queen Bee. This is like the honey, the honey one, honey kiss, Silk Balm honey kiss. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. I'm going to put my lip liner on and try to decide. I'm going to use the Rose Quartz Balm since this one is newer. It came out in the Rose Quartz collection. I accidentally bought this one. I actually meant to buy the regular Silk Balm, the one that I've almost used all the way up. I accidentally bought this one, but that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and give this one a shot over that lip liner. Mm. All right, so that does look to be pretty pink. It's not quite as like sparkly. Like I almost wondered if it would be more of like a glittery gloss almost. But I really don't think it is. It is just kind of that illuminating gloss. Makes the lips look a little bit bigger. Mmm, that's pretty. So it definitely has more pink to it than the regular Silk Balm does. I'm also going to try the Honey one, which I'm excited for. But I like it. I like the way that that lip combo looks. So after that, that is everything for today's video. Trying out the new makeup that I picked up in my Sephora haul. So first thoughts, I do like that concealer. And I didn't notice a lot of creasing by the time that I went in to do my eyes. So it might be the Anastasia that's doing the creasing and not the Kosas powder. Because I feel like that duo worked out really, really well for me, which I'm happy about. The Dior powder in 2.N, I don't know. I feel like my face is looking a little bit light. You know, the Wet n Wild foundation is a little bit of a lighter shade than mixed with the 2N. I just, I feel like my, like I feel like I'm not loving my base at this moment in time. But I don't know if I can really, like I love the Dior powder. I think I just... It's almost like I need a shade in between the 2 and the 3N, and that would be like the perfect shade for me right now. But I'll keep trying it, especially with different foundations, to see if I'm going to like that as a shade match more. Um, the Natasha palette, I mean, I am loving it. The eyeshadows I thought were so beautiful, so easy to use. The cheek products are also incredible. That blush is so easy to blend out. Like, I am really, really feeling on the Natasha palette. I'm super happy that I got that one. Uh... 
what else did I try out? The Beauty Blender sponge. I thought it was pretty good. Like I said, I haven't used Beauty Blender in a while, but I, I felt like it was a nice sponge and I liked the little, the little set that it came with. And then the lip balm from Huda Beauty. I think I'm really going to like it. I really do enjoy the silk balm. So I think that is everything that I tried out for first impressions today. As always, I do review all of my hauls. So stay tuned for some reviews. I think my makeup monthly is going to go up this week, maybe on Friday um, for the previous month. And there's a lot in there that I have to review. I know that one's coming a little bit later, but there's been so many Sephora videos. I feel like I have four Sephora videos like back to back to back. But I hope that you've been enjoying them. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this a first impression. Let me know you think and as always if you enjoyed it please make sure to give this one a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go and i'll see you in my next video bye